So we are filming in the community center of the car park at Parkview School now known as Rockwood Academy. So we're going to be showing the Trojan Horse Playway shortly to the local community, the community that was affected by this scandal that took place in 2014. And this is four years in the making. Today is a very special day. I was, I was the head of modern foreign languages at Parkview School at the time, created outstanding by Ofsted. Um, had ambitions of becoming a head teacher one day. Um, I was embroiled as one of the central teachers in this plot. Um, this Trojan Horse Saga has had a massive impact on me and my family. It's affected me emotionally, mentally, the financial loss. I'm still recovering from it to be honest with you. I'm uh, John Homewood. I'm a professor of sociology at the University of Nottingham and I was an expert witness for the defence in the court hearings for professional misconduct for teachers at Parkview Education Trust. The narrative is one of extremism, of a plot to Islamicise schools. It's a very significant narrative because one of its consequences was that the government made legislative changes. It introduced a new prevent strategy and the only example within the PREVENT strategy indicating a danger of extremism in schools is the Birmingham Trojan Horse Affair. So the fact that there was no ev evidence of extremism in the schools and the fact that the cases finally collapsed is uh, of real concern right across the country. Uh, it means a lot for me just because I grew up in this area. I was born a few, do a few roads down. And um, yeah, so like having a story that represents my community is just mad, really. As you know, this, this is so close to home. It happened here, it happened on our doorsteps. Um, our children were robbed of a future. And I just think um, we should give a big round of applause for the teachers and governors. I just want to invite them to the stage. We have performed the play today literally on the grounds of the formerly known school called Parkview Academy. Why is it important for us to be here today, Mr. Tahir Alam? This is where we built our success. This is where we came, you know, almost every single day for 20 years. And then we were, you know, callously and uh, unjustly removed from here. Our children have been failed and uh, the injustice still has to be addressed. How does it feel to be literally opposite Nansen Primary, which you were the deputy head teacher of? Well, throughout the performance today, I uh, had a kind of resounding feeling around the first time, I would say, that the community got to say its voice and got to express itself and express the injustice that occurred here. Trojan Horse has absolutely blighted Birmingham. And this is the first time that I believe those issues have been examined with the empathy and the depth that it deserves. So to be honest, it's quite emotional um, watching it because the whole community has been put through that stigma. The idea that in Birmingham, you know, extremists have got a hold of the schools and the kids were being radicalised. That's an image that has stuck. It's one thing to say that uh members of the, uh, the, the Parkview School uh, denied most of the allegations, but in an official report, I think it's necessary to say, give some of the basis on which their den denials were being uh, supported. I mean, there are several really serious examples which I can give. One is that there were, they were accused of copying a jihadi video in the school media department. This featured in lots of uh, newspaper reports. It was also referred to in, in Parliament. And yet, the video in question turned out to be a panorama programme. The panorama programme was being recorded at the request of West Midlands Police. And the reason why they requested the recording was they were coming into the school to give a, a session on the dangers of radicalisation to pupils. And so the example, which was perhaps one of the most serious examples, 
was the very opposite of what it was always put for. It's a lesson for all of us to learn that there's always the other side, there's always another narrative, and to assess the facts and not to jump to conclusions. The community is still reeling from this. They, they haven't had closure, and I believe that this play, tonight's performance, will be a step in the right direction. Uh, will be a step forward in helping the community and the people affected to have some sort of closure. So, we're doing a performance of Trojan Horse in Parliament on the 7th of January. We'd love as many MPs to come to this, but particularly would really, really love it if Michael Gove could come and see this show. There's a lot to do with you in this show, so please, please do come and see it.